Hi, this is Rachel from Root3 Labs, and today I'm going to be talking about how to process a scanned 3D model on Mesh Mixer and in SolidWorks in order to prepare it for 3D printing or any other engineering application. So on my computer, I have Mesh Mixer pulled up, and this is something you can download online for free. I'm going to import the file we'll be working with, which is a scan of an elephant. And as you can see here, this scan has a lot of imperfections. It's not smooth. It has a gash in its face and a hole in its ear. And this is pretty common for 3D scanned models to have these imperfections. So we're going to use some tools on Mesh Mixer in order to fix up this model. The first thing I'm going to do is change the units to inches. And then I'm going to work on filling in this gash using a command called erase and fill. And I'm going to start off by highlighting all the areas that need to be filled in. And then I'm going to go to Edit, Erase and Fill, Accept, and Clear Selection. And now we see that area of the face has been filled in. And I'm going to do the same thing with the ear, but this time I'm going to use a command called Discard before doing Erase and Fill. And you can adjust the size of the cursor using this. Edit, Erase, and Fill. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Okay, so now we've filled in the gash in the ear, so we're making good progress. Now we're going to fill in some of the pointed section. These tusks are very pointy, and there's some points on the legs. And the issue with this is that it might be hard to 3D print, but even if it does 3D print, it will break off very easily, these thin parts. So I'm going to say edit, erase, and fill again. And one useful command to note is that if I select an area that is not on the model, and then I can make a circle around it, and that will select the area with the circle. I'm just going to fill in these pointed sections on the legs and feet. Now the next command we're going to look at is the offset command, and we're going to use that on the tail because the tail is very thin. Again, it could easily break if 3D printed. I'm going to highlight the tail, say edit offset, and then I'm going to change the offset distance to 0.04 inches, and I'm going to say change the transition to 0.15 inches. And that will just enable a smooth transition between the tail and the body. Now I could say, see that the tail has a lot more thickness to it. And now I'm going to smooth out the body of the elephant using the smooth command. So first I'm going to highlight the area of the elephant. And then say deform and smooth. And then we can define how smooth we'd like it. And then the final tool I'm going to use is the Sculpt tool. I'm going to use these brushes and choose the Robust Smooth Brush. And this will just smooth out any areas that we didn't already get with the Smooth function. And it does a very good job of just making it very smooth. 
exterior for the piece. And you can also decrease the strength to use on smaller parts like this trunk and the tail. And I'm just going to make this trunk a little bit shorter. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Now I'm going to make the piece into a solid. And the reason I want to do that is because we did a lot of different manipulations to this model. We just want to make sure everything is one solid piece for printing. Then I could technically print, um, convert this to an STL file and it could be ready to print now. However, I'm going to make the elephant hollow because that will save on 3D printing resin and also make the piece a little bit lighter. So I'm going to select hollow. And then I can say how large I'd like the wall thickness to be. So I'm going to make mine an eighth of an inch and then I'm going to say update hollow. And it's important to note for hollowing also, um, a 3D printed hollow part needs drain holes in order for the resin to drain out. Otherwise, it will be stuck in the hollow piece. So we're going to be making the drain holes on SolidWorks, but it is possible to do that on Mesh Mixer as well. So press accept. And if we want to verify that the shape is indeed, indeed hollow, we can go to shaders and bring this shader over, and then we can see the hollow piece inside. Now the final step I'm going to do is press analysis inspector and then say auto repair all and that just makes sure there's no errors in the piece that we didn't already catch. Now I'm going to export the model to an STL file. And save that. Okay, so now in SolidWorks, I'm going to pull up the edited model. And we can see here that two meshes have been imported, the outer layer and then the inner layer, if we hide this, is the area that is supposed to be hollow. So since SolidWorks did not import the hollow part, we're going to combine these meshes to make the elephant hollow like we wanted it. So we're going to subtract the hollow portion from the main body. And now if we do a cut plane, we can see that the elephant is hollow like we wanted it. And now at this point, you can do anything you'd like with the elephant, add holes for the eyes or put it on a platform or whatever you'd like. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how to add drain holes. So first I'm going to make a plane. And I'm going to draw two small circles on this plane. And then I'm going to extrude these circles into the elephant. And the reason why I cannot do extrude cut is because our parts are not meshes and the elephant is a mesh. And in order to combine two SolidWorks parts, you need to be dealing with the same type of part. So for that reason, we can't do merge result. We have to unselect that. And now we have these two cylinders here. 
And in order to make them penetrate into the part, in order to make a hole, we have to convert them to meshes. So you can right click, say convert to mesh body. And then we're going to use the combine feature and subtract these two cylinders from the main body. Now we can see there are two holes on the bottom that the resin can drain from. And now the elephant is ready to be converted to an STL file and printed. Thank you very much for watching.